everyone and welcome to the community show and today I've got Sonia it's really good to have you here today Thank Sonia. You for inviting how me. are you I'm good yeah I'm good great how are you? great now the reason I invited Sonia on was because um, I went down to Hills Cafe the other day in Micklefield and I saw this big sign up about a networking event for women that they hold at um, Hills Cafe once a month. Is that yeah. right? On a yeah. Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to tell me something about it? Well, I, 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 I set it up because within the business that I do, I'm very fortunate to have a really supportive group of mentors and with our company, we're really, really good at our support and training. And as I've gone along the way, I've met lots of other women that are working for themselves, that are self-employed or started running their own business. And I found from speaking to them, they, they didn't have that same support. They didn't have any coaching or mentoring because they'd set it up themselves. And also their, um, their confidence and self-belief wasn't always there because they didn't have somebody to share things with. And I just thought it'd be really nice to have a really supportive group where we can all share and help each other and boost other people's, you know, their businesses and their, also their confidence in what they're doing. The sounds, yes, I agree with you, that because there is hardly anything out there. I mean, there are things like um, Ladies of Latte in Marlowe. I think that's the only one that's actually free. So yeah. it's really good to see that you're doing this. Now, one of the things I noticed, it said it's actually for mums, but is it open to any woman who's yeah. running her own business? Absolutely. So it's uh -huh. not just mums. I just found that... With, I just wanted people to be aware that there may be children there because the other networking group, like, I, like you said, is that I've been to ones that are very, very expensive and if you're starting up your own business, that's another, you know, um, funding out. Yeah. And also that a lot of the women that I meet work their own businesses because they want to be at home with their children. And if you can't then get out there, it's really, really difficult. So I mm. wanted to show that this is somewhere you can come with your children and promote yourself and, and be comfortable and relax mm. as well. So I just wanted other women to know that it's not going to be quite as formal as what some other mm -hmm. networking groups would be. It's fantastic, and but you seem like a person that's used to organising things. You've got that confidence or, you know, so have you done stuff like this before? Um, I have, I've done a couple, I've set up a couple of events um, and I've done training for my own team so I guess some of those things come into play and I, ju I just love, I really really enjoy um, helping women and seeing them grow. Men too but I really 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 like mm. seeing women's self belief coming up so I think sometimes if you just get things started then the organisation will then you know slot into place sure. after. When you say you work with your own team what, what is it you actually do? So my when I work from home, I'm a mum of six. Oh, you've got you. six children. <laughs> so I had okay. to find something to work from home. Where do you have the energy? <laughs> Gosh, you know, I, energy. I just I, I try and eat really well and coffee. And there's coffee again. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I work from home and I help other mums to do the same. So I help them all get their business up and growing. And um, we work in the health and wellbeing sector. And so from the training that's come from that. Not only have I been able to pass it on to my team and, and with the family as well, because there's a lot of personal development in there, I just felt that it'd be nice to be able to offer something back as well. Because I, the women that I meet along the way are just, you know, they're incredible. They're awesome how they mm -hmm. set things up. So not just purchasing the goods that they've made, mm -hmm. but also to help them, you know, move along a little bit and give them a little bit of business advice that I was fortunate enough to have and pass that on. And we all work together, so, you know, they, they give back as well with me right. and give ideas. So it's really nice. It sounds amazing. So are you a life coach? Would you say, or lifestyle coach of some kind? We do a lot of coaching, yeah. Right. I do get to do a lot of coaching, and I've had a lot of coaching, um, and I've gone to various different people through different sorts of therapies and coaching. And I guess I've picked a lot of what has worked for me and for other people I work closely with, and just use those tools and those strategies to then then go on and share those. Okay. What sort of training have you done then? Oh, there's this. Gosh, there's lots. The, within the company, <laughs> the company. Um, they offer their, their training. So as mentors, we learn um, ourselves through the people that we work with. So there's books out there, you know, like Alan Pease that's done Questions and the Answers. Um, I'm saying Jeff Jeffrey's Attitude is Everything. That's a really, a really, really, really great book for, for building. And Who Moved My Cheese? There's lots oh, yeah. of books out there. Those no, sorts of, and Ted Talks, you yes, know, yes. Um, Amy Cundy. And so all of these, these things that you can tap into, anyone can tap into, 
and I've also done some work with just other life coaches that have grown their own business as a life coach and I've gone to them and experienced through those. So there's a few, right. few different women that I've worked with as well. Oh, fantastic. Um, business coaches. Fantastic. So why Micklefield? Do you, you don't, do you live around here in the Micklefield uh, area? I, li I live just up in uh, Totteridge at the top there. Right. But with Hills, I actually know... How did I even come across Hills initially? I know Matt yeah. Knight and Ali okay. Horn um, and Nikki Pearson and Julia Walsall and they have a lot to do in the community. And so I, I was a part of the Neighbourhood Action Group and I think possibly Nikki had mentioned to me that Hills Cafe was going to be starting. And of course this is a community-based cafe, mm -hmm. so it's... Um, <clears throat> It's not always making a great profit, and I really wanted to also raise the awareness of Hills because they're mm -hmm. amazing. They they are just and they give a lot back to the community as well. Mm -hmm. They offer a lot of work experience and a CV building. So I just wanted to give back and promote Hills Cafe at the same time. Yeah, um, and they're great for families, you know. So mm. it's another business that we can help along the way as such. It, it feels like Micklefield have got a very very cohesive community in the way I mean the library and everyone seemed to work really well together. They're a very good model I think for the rest of High Wycombe or the rest of um, the area. So you know when I went in there and I saw that I thought wow the, as I say it's very exciting. It's exciting for people for myself because there is no one. There's nowhere to go when you're working at home on your own and um, you do tend to get lonely. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have that support. I mean I'm a trained life coach and, but I use life coaching all the time, or I'd be nowhere with that. You know, life coaching is amazing, and I totally believe in it 100%. Mm -hmm. You know, we set my end of the year goals, working towards them, doing my best. What are yours? <laughs> for next year. What, no, for, have oh, you got for the any end, end of the year, year goals? Yeah, yeah there's a few team members. Me? As far mm -hmm. as business wise, or as far as. As the, um, maybe the networking. Well, with thing? the networking, I'm really excited for next year because I'm going to bring in some more. Or, because we've generally just been helping each other and batting off each other ideas and tools and what I want to bring in is actually a proper plans and advice because I had to look at it broadly because I'm in network marketing so we work slightly differently so to be able to reach everybody and bring in maybe a 10-15 minute slot of training as such so that mm -hmm. anybody can come along and tap into that is what I want to do for 2018. So do you have a newsletter or do you have any other way of connecting to the community? Because if I hadn't walked in to the cafe, I wouldn't have known that this is happening. Are you on Facebook? How do you promote the group? Actually, kind of. The first time I did pop it on High Wickham Facebook page, you know, they've got the page mm -hmm. of the High Wickham, and I asked if anybody knows anyone that runs their own businesses, and then I, I contacted them. Um, so we did that, and also just the women that I meet in all of the events locally, I just go and ask them, you know, would it be something of use to you? We've got a Facebook group, because a lot of the women actually, <coughs> many of them work full time as well, and they would like their business to then overtake that, or it's a hobby on the side of it. So not everyone can get there on a Monday, mm. so we've got this fa Facebook group that we can also interact on there and bring things in on there. So I actually haven't gone out there and really advertised it. Okay, okay. Because that would be an interesting way of getting everything out there, as you say, for the new year. Mm. Um, because there are so many small businesses. Um, one of the things that I'm trying to work, also get some more awareness around, is where to work. And um, I have had meetings with people like um, Kefira um, and small businesses around the area where we don't have anywhere to work. You know, there are so many buildings and so many places that are empty. You know, not even going into homelessness, which is a huge issue. But small businesses would really, really love to be able to work around Wickham where all the shops are closed. And yeah. Is there any way that something could be done with, with these businesses? Or are these mainly women that work from home? Or do you think there would be interest there to have some kind of coalition that gets some more awareness for us to actually use Wickham in a more positive way. I think I think you're right because I, I, I think they've got an amazing community down in Wickerfield and that's mm. from those people that I've mentioned. They are just they are doing it. They're not expecting everyone else to do it. They're doing it themselves. Mm. And for councillors, that's, that's you know that's unique. It's not very often that mm. that happens. And I think the 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 fact that the rent is so high in Wickham is just I mean it's just crazy. Yeah. You have to be earning a fortune to do that. Sorry, and I think it's something like 60000 a year for the lease for a shop in yes. High Wycombe. It's insane. And that's without the electricity. But they're all closed. Yeah. They're all, it's the same in Maidenhead. 
everything is closed. It, it, there's got to be something that we can do together but sorry it's all these fat cats isn't it coming yes. in and taking over and mm. it's getting the small businesses out of work mm. I think most women that I work with work from home because it works around their families so to be out mm. and in a premises maybe wouldn't be ideal for them um, there's there's a few um, I know that a friend of mine Teresa and her husband have set up a, a shop recently in, in High Wycombe um, for charity for a charity um, for their, their daughter who died and you know, I don't know. Um, they've recently started to so head down there if you can do. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have to get them all on moving on TV. I'll have to have what she's mm. only around the corner. I will get, get to get on the and bring her around because, mm. yes, definitely, it'd be really, yeah. really great. Mm. I just think that the rent is just so, so high. You know, I looked at other places that we could go and um, uh, meet up before with my team, not with, um, not with the networking group, with my team. <clears throat> and everyone wants you to hire places, and I, if I come down to a, I'm not going to say the location. If I came down here promoting you, because we'd be advertising to people, and now my team with their families would come down. It's it's just this this long term thinking rather than this short term mm. little bit of money. And I don't know what we can really do about that in Wickham, but we mm. we have got a great community, and if people just tap into it a little bit more, speak to each other a little bit more, just say mm. hello, you'll find that people do come. You know, not yeah. everybody, but people are much more of a community spirit if, if we just make these so, steps. Sorry to stop you there, why do you think Nicholfield's different? What, what The people that are doing it. What, what's going on? Where, where did they get this from? Because I know they saved the library. I know they actually went out there and they got a lottery grant to save their own library. So what's the difference between as an area like this, do you think, and another area that's just given up? What is it? Do they have that... Um, special, um, what do you call it, <laughs> morale inside or connection, yeah, community connection. connection. Yeah. If you, if you're, I think if you're on your own, if you're doing anything on your own, which is why I got the group I guess set up, if you're doing anything on your own and you take a knock or you feel like you're the only person, you kind of give up more easily. If you get a few of you together, then you can go, it's okay, we're together on this. Mm. We're not, I'm not the only person feeling this. Then if you get more people, because you can speak and you can connect, and it's all these connections, that, you know, Matt and Julia and, and Nikki and Catherine and Annie and Nicola, you know, they, they, those people in this community, this part of Micklefield, this part of town, they're really on it and they want to change the community for the better. Mm. And because they've come together, they've got a much more of a, a bigger voice. Mm. And Julia's, you know, she's amazing at getting things mm. changed. And she's I, I very, have very to passionate. Sure. Yeah, love to meet her as well. Well, you know, moving on TV, we're trying to bring people together. We're trying to make the world a better place. We're trying to give that light to people that don't have it. You know, one of the things I said today is, please come here if you're lonely, because I want I I can't loneliness is such a soul destroyer, and all these people that are setting up businesses, they're all for the good of the community. Yeah. What what kind of com uh, businesses do you have? Um, that comes around to here we've got um, network we've got women that do they make their own jewelry handmade jewelry handmade cards which is just really lovely make them really really unique we've got a lady that does uh, the Asian sorts of clothing with the scarves we've got a life coach that comes along um, we've got other network marketers that do um, network marketing in, di in different companies we've got an osteopath that comes another lady that is um, and I can never pronounce how she says it, and I've worked with her, she's brilliant, Joe. Um, myofascia uh, yes. work, yeah, is that no, correct? Jo. Am yes. I saying the same right yeah, thing? No, and My child fascia. minders, um, it's just handmade clothing, baby clothing, crocheting, all the old skills that have come back as well, oh, which I love, amazing. and knitting, sewing, mm. um, card making, mm. decorations, just so many, it's so varied, and mm. you can't, people will say to them, I know they said it to them that, oh, I can get that for so much cheaper in the shops, or, you know, I'm not going to mention names of shops, um, I can get it cheaper here. And what they forget is, they're never going to get that because it's unique for a start. Mm. And also, they're paying for that person's time when they've gone to have a look, and they can help them choose the right colour, or they can match it with their dress, they can make it unique to them. Mm. You're not getting the same as if you bought something mm. from a shop down the road where they've paid a child two pence to make it instead yeah. of what they should yeah. be paying. Yeah that child to make it so mm -hmm. there's a lot of reasons really why I really mm -hmm. want to promote these small businesses mm -hmm. 
it's it's essential. My dad lost a small business because of what was happening um, nowadays with the, the bigger companies mm. taking over. Mm. And what happened was the community was devastated. It mm. wasn't that he lost the shop. He never wasn't able to help the elderly people that were coming because he knew he could take the milk if they needed it when the shop was shut. Mm. There was disabled people coming in, people with dog walkers. People would meet together and have hot yeah. chocolate with my dad. Yeah, it wasn't that's how just... you use that community yeah. thing. We really need that back. Um, we really, really do need that back. And not only what you're saying about that, the community thing, is a lot of the time when we buy stuff, like I buy a lot of stuff on the internet, I'm not mentioning any names, everything's faulty. Everything's broken. Everything, with all due respect, is rubbish. Things don't fit together. But here you've got the person you're working with directly that cares about you. Yep. It's a one-to-one -one connection. It's the way communities used to work. You used to have the baker, you know, the, the butcher. You, you know what I mean? You yeah. used to have everything used to be just there for you. And it was like a family feel. And we need to bring that back a lot more. So just before we finish, so when you're meeting again, if you want to say that, into the camera, when are we meeting? Ooh. you meeting again? Now, we're going to meet the first Monday in January, as long as it's not January the 1st. So the first <laughs> Monday they got back to school. <clears throat> However, I just need to check with Matt because mm -hmm. the... Um, Cafe was closed on Monday, so short staff. So I need to double check that he's going to be back because it might be the Monday or the Friday, the first okay. Monday or the first Friday back in Jan. Mm -hmm. So I mean, feel free to get in touch with me for more How information. How do people get in touch with you, Sonia? Um, probably the best way would be Facebook, Sonia Shields, S H I E L D S, uh, Sonia S O N I A. Um, or yeah, or text or phone me, uh, which is 07 58 59 57 065. And I just get some information across. And even if you can't make it along to the meetings, then you'll be welcome on the Facebook group. Um, and we do lots on there as well. Fantastic. And you can always contact me, Lauren with L A U R E N E, at movingontv.uk or ring me on 074 37 532 798 to find out more about this wonderful networking group that's happening here at Hills Cafe in Micklefield or to come on board the community show and tell your own amazing unique story. So thank you so much Sonia, it's been amazing having you here. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> Have a beautiful Christmas as we're just before Christmas and let's hope we can make the world a beautiful, beautiful new place in 2018. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. someone that's actually in intense pain that it's hard for them to even sit and think that they could ask their pain in how are you going to do it would you do that um by steps like slowly slowly gently gently because the first thing that you want to do is imagine that you're holding a sword and shield while setting the sword and shield down and then walking up to an imagine sacred space the door opening and then your issue say neck pain, walking through the door, and you welcome it. You say, well... Welcome to Moving On TV, the new TV channel for us, the positive, inspirational TV channel. My name is Lauren Hope. I am the founder and CEO of Moving On TV. No one is ordinary. We're all special, unique, wonderful human beings. We're all celebrities with our own talents and strengths and dreams. Moving on TV is here for all of us. We have a book show if you wrote a book. We're looking for talent for moving on talent. We want to stream you. We don't want you to compete. Artists shouldn't have to compete. It's disrespectful. And we're going to produce a new musical and you could be in it. And we're going to serialize it for everyone. We're not going to have the news. We're going to have the happy news. Positive, inspirational, happy stories, which are actually the majority of the stories in the world that are happening all around us, except no one wants to give them to you. And of course, because we're run by solution-based people, life coaches, we want to give you the truth and to help you move on. So we want to know why these tragedies are happening all around us. Why are so many people being hit off their bicycles? 
What is the solution to all these problems in our world? How can we have a better world, a more peaceful world? We're looking for you. We're looking for all of you. Everyone has a unique story. We're looking for hosts, presenters, all age groups, particularly older people that are not being given any opportunities. Come and work on our media. Cameramen, editor, editors, anyone who wants to work with us. And of course, sponsors. Organic makeup and organic products that are helping the environment and the human race. Come on board Moving On TV, the new positive channel, the channel that gives you hope. You can contact me at Lauren with an E at movingontv.uk. Don't get depressed. Come on board Moving On TV. See you soon. Bye. Still can see your love holding on, pushing way beyond the tears. I still can see your love holding on, pushing way.
Still can see your love holding on, pushing words. 